Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll show you how to use Leonardo AI Canvas to edit images using AI. This is an amazing tool that can transform your photos and even boost your creativity as well. In this video, we'll show you some cool techniques so that you'll be able to enhance your photos effortlessly here with Leonardo AI Canvas. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and open our Leonardo AI account. You can simply go to web browser and just simply type in leonardo.ai. Once you're logged in, all you have to do is go into the left side panel of the screen. Under user tools, you can actually click on AI Canvas. That's after the image generation. This is what we will be working on today. Once you're on the AI Canvas, what you can do here is that you can see on the left side panel of the screen, these are the tools that you can use. You have the pan tool, select tool, brush tool, or the mask tool. You have eraser. You have a sketch tool, the upload image, download image, undo and redo. On the right side panel of the screen, you have your tokens. You, this is where you'll be able to choose what type of AI model you will use. And a good thing here is that you have a canvas mode to choose from. Whether you'll be able to generate text to image, you can even generate image with in paint or out paint or you have the option to create an image from image to image and where you have the last option here where in you can sketch and then ai will turn it into an image and so those are your four options but in this video we will focus on in paint and out paint here you have the dimensions you can even modify how many number of images will be generated per token or per generation so in this video, depending on what type of image we'll upload, we can simply modify the image easily here on the left side panel of the screen. You even have the render density, you even have the tide and scale. Now that we have all the tools here, the next thing that we will do would be uploading an image. And before anything else, just to inform you, this box in the middle of the screen is actually what we call as the generation box. This is where all the generation will happen inside this box. So what we will do here is that we will upload an image. You have an option to upload an image from your computer or from your previous generation, or you can upload an image from the community. You can simply browse into this image here and just click on it, and it will automatically be uploaded here on your workspace. But in this video, I'll be using an image that I have downloaded earlier here on my device. So I will be clicking on this image and I'll open it a little. So now that the image is uploaded, what we will do first is to resize the image that we've uploaded. Click on the select tool. That's the second option on the left side panel of the screen and simply drag the corners of the image, making sure that it would be the same size as the generation box that we have. So in order for you to generate or extend an image, all you have to do is to place the generation box, the other half on the image and the other half is outside of the image. So this is a cool thing here. First thing that you can do with Leonardo AI Canvas is you can limitlessly extend your image here with this feature. So all you have to do is type in the prompt, extend image and click on generate and you just need to wait for a while and once it's fully generated it provides you four variations of the image for us to edit here as you can see with the current model that i have it's actually in order diffusion and with the image that it's generated it's not very similar to the original image that we have it's just like a smudged look here. So we don't want that. We need to cancel the image that was generated here and we need to regenerate so that we will be able to find the exact match from the original image. So the next thing that we will do here is change the AI model. We change it to Dream Shaper version 7. You can actually look into the other versions as well, but in this video I think the Dream Shaper, shop, Dream Shaper 7 rather would fit best on the image that we will generate here. So I did not change anything in the prompt. I just click on regenerate and you'll be able to see the images that were generated here 
They're actually very close to the original image that we've uploaded earlier. So just use Dreamshaper 7 if you do have an artistic um, image that you've uploaded. And then choose from the images that were generated here. You have four options. And once you have chosen what image you'll use, you just click on the exact button. And that image will be saved into the original image that we've uploaded. So we'll choose the third image or the second image here. It's actually the closest or the most accurate image that we have here with the image that we've generated here with AI Canvas. So we'll be doing that on the other side. No, no changes on the prompt as well. We just simply position the generation box on the left side panel or on the left side of the image. And you'll be able to see the image are very accurate already. It's very similar to how we generated the image with Dreamshaper 7 as well. So another, what we can do here is we can actually use the mask tool that's below the select tool. We can actually draw a mask inside the generation box. And if you wish to add a boat, flower, you can definitely add that here with AI Canvas. This is very helpful in case you want to add a few details or a few um, objects into your image, you can definitely do so. So make sure that you will have the correct prompts or if ever it does not provide you the exact image, you can just regenerate, modify the prompt until you find one. So aside from using the mask tool, you can actually use these um, erase tool. It, it, it functions the same or similar to the mask tool as well but this one it would erase a portion of the original image and it will replace it to what image you wish to be generated here with ai canvas and as you can see here with the image that we've generated it's not very close or it's very far from what we are looking for and when i look into the other image that were generated as well it does not look similar to the art style that we have for the original image. So what we will do is we'll just go to see the uh, the other features that we can do here. But we will cancel this image that was generated. And then let's just click on undo so that there will be no hole in our image right here. So now that we have extended the image, the next thing that we can do is actually merge two images here with AI Canvas. So I'll be using the same, or it's very similar art style to the first image that we've uploaded. It's important that you have similar theme or similar art style if you will be merging two images so that it would look seamless. So first thing, resize the image, the second image that you've downloaded. Okay, position that either on the left or right, depending on how it would look like, making sure that it would be, it would fit best as well. So you just leave a gap in the middle and then just drag the generation box, making sure that each ends of the generation box is on the two images. So all we have to do is type in the prompt merge image and then click on generate. And you'll be able to see that these two images will be effortlessly merged here with the Northern AI Canvas. So in a minute here, it will be generated. So as you can see, the image, the first image that was generated, there is a person in it, but we don't want that. And the closest image that we want is the second image that was generated. Just click on exact. And then what we'll do here is we will use the mask tool and then we will just draw a portion of the image that we have generated and I will enhance that. So I'll just type in the prompt, improve image, and then just click on generate. And you'll be able to see it provides us four variations that would look best into the image that we have here. So let's just click on next with a foot arrow. So you have the option. You can see that on the fourth option here, there's actually a, 
open to so you can either have a plane one wherein there is a rock or you have a false you even have a statue so you can definitely choose whatever you like depending on what theme you'd like to add here for this image but in this video i'll use this one and once you're done you just simply click on the download button and then that's basically it this is the output and we do hope that you like the video that we have shared with you today and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching bye